Hi guys, so today we're gonna go ahead and assemble the Z drive. I made three of them. And it's actually quite a lot of fun. Um, so you're gonna need the Z drive cover thingies and you're gonna have to use the heat inserts um, using an iron. All right, once we have that, we're ready to go. We get one of these uh, big, big pulleys. This is called the GT280T pulley. And you'll need some thread locker. Um, you can get the blue. I like to use this Permatec orange thread locker. Uh, it's not permanent, but it's removable, uh, but it's much stronger than blue. I used to build a lot of electric skateboards, so I was using blue and it would always come off. I mean, that's, I don't think you even need to use that much. Um, you know, with electric skateboards, you're dealing with way more vibration uh, and impact and stuff. But I guess 3D printing does use quite a bit of, um, quite a bit of vibration if you go fast. So I'm just gonna put a small dab, like literally a small dab. Ah, just a tiny bit like that. And I'm gonna thread in, uh, I'm gonna go in halfway for now. And let me do the same thing for this other guy. That's probably a little too much. I think you can actually just put on uh, one of them. I actually should have just put on one of them. You don't need to put on both. I don't think so, but. All right, you need to get the rods. Get one of these uh, rods for it. All right, especially if it's got the flat spot. Um, I'm just gonna go ahead and put some, go ahead and get some bearing oil. This thing great. Well, it, it, everything will fit in a lot better because it's a little stiff without it. Let it glide in there. I'm going to need a bearing on one of these sides. Put uh, 625 bearing. There we go. And we're going to go ahead and just pull this out. And you're going to need a spacer. All right. And then you're going to have to put. Uh, Another bearing. Okay, it's a little stiff, so. If you get stiff like that, just put a little bearing oil, and that should help it slide nice, nice and through. Yeah. Side of the, of the bearing here. This is a Formbot um, kit, by the way, Voron 2.4. These bearings seems to be not perfect fit. They're just very tight tolerances. Not not tight tolerances. Ah, oh, come on. All right, let me grab the other one. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna go ahead and use the other side, maybe. Whoa, stuck. The bearing oil would help. I'm gonna go the other way. So we get stuck. There we go. This guy over here. Seems like this one side is a little tight. There we go. So I've got the bearing, the pulley, spacer, another bearing. There we go. And another spacer. All right, and set that aside. We're gonna need a pulley. Uh, you're gonna need GT2 P5 nine millimeter pulley. So I got it right here. And again, I would just use, I don't know, I just I just feel like it's overdone, but okay, just use thread locker. Okay, that's a little, if it's a little too much, I'll just sort of dab it off. Just use just a tiny bit because this thing's 
stuff. Don't need to use a lot of it. Okay, that's in there. I'm just gonna grab a little bit off the other one that I dipped. All right. And we're gonna go ahead and put the pulley with the screw side up, just like that. All right. And then put another bearing on top. Here, it fits. Ah. All right, there we go. So we got it in there. So we're pull things out. Now you're gonna go ahead and align it with the Z drive enclosure here. It's not called enclosure, I just call it that. And then align the bearings, move move stuff around a little bit. Pull the bearing in. Okay, let's see how that, that seems. Oh. Okay. Push the bearing in. I'm going. Okay, once that's all fitted, everything should roll nicely just like that. And look at the shaft. It's a little uneven, so I'm gonna go ahead and push. Oof, can't push. Actually, you know what? It doesn't have to be perfect. It's gonna be a little off. I mean, you can you can make it perfect, but I'm gonna leave it as it is. Uh, now, when you go ahead and screw the, the big pulley on first, I'll try to align the, the screw hole so it aligns with this. Ah. I have to do it anyway. Align the holes. So it's the screw goes right on the flat part. So I'm just gonna align it, align it like that, so the flat spot goes on the pulley. Put it back in there. Okay. And you're going to go ahead and tug, make sure it's tug upwards. So it's, so this, this pulley is close as possible to the spacer. I think that's the point of the spacer. And now it's aligned. I'm going to go ahead and screw in the flat side first and it will automatically seat itself the correct way. And then I'm going to go ahead and screw the other grub screw. Yeah, that's what it was. Grub screw. Grub what it's called. And then for this small pulley, also align the grub screw uh, to be with the flat part of the motor. And once you screw this one first in, it should seat itself uh, right on the flat part. Yep. It doesn't have to be super tight if you use thread locker. Okay, that's nicely in there. Bam, bam, bam. Yeah. Uh, we're going to put the belt over it. Stick it back in there. I think we're done. Looking good. Grab the cover. Print the right cover. Yep. Okay. And you're going to go ahead and use M340. Screw six of these. I'm really excited for my build. It's coming along slowly but nicely. I've spent maybe four hours so far, plus another four hours today. I'm just taking it slow. I'm actually printing my own um, sort of frame stabilizer because I wasn't satisfied with it. Making my own improvements to the printer, even though the first time building it. Uh, but really like this Z drive stuff. It's kind of fun. Okay, let's just tie it down, tighten it down, and we should have another. Okay, that's looking real nice. Motor, yeah, motor rolling nicely. Z drive. Um, you'll need four of these. So I'm done with Z drive. I'll try to more. I'll try to have more videos, but. 
Wish me luck, I still got a long ways to go. I'll oh, finally be done with all the Z drives. So happy. Have a great day. Bye.